Greetings, ladies and gentlemen! My name is Mangs, and I welcome you guys back to the start of a brand new Civilization V playthrough. This time around, we're going to be playing as Kamahamahamahamahamahamahamaha of the Polynesian Empire. Expect a lot of Kamahamaha jokes this Let's Play. So yeah, we're going to be playing a uh, naval-oriented civilization, and it is only fitting that we are playing on Archipelago. I do believe that's how you pronounce it. If not, you can correct me in the comment section like you always do. And uh, yeah, this uh, particular Let's Play is going to be very naval oriented. I have named it The Great Sea Battle, because every single civilization that takes part in this map is a naval oriented civ with a uh, naval unique unit. So you'll, you'll get to see every single unique ship in the game. Uh, so yeah, we'll be going up against uh, Byzantium, uh, the Carth Carthagians, we'll be going up against uh, the Netherlands. Every single civilization that has a unique ship is in this game. Uh, not necessarily every single naval-oriented civ. Uh, the Danes are not part of the game, the Ottomans are not part of the game, because they don't have unique ships. I, I just wanted, wanted civs with unique ships. The difficulty is DD and the speed is epic, so this is going to be a cool game. Now, let's talk about the Polynesians. A lot of people want me to play them. Uh, they are a very, very good civilization. Even though they don't got any unique ships, they have a really good civilization bonus called Wayfinding. They can embark and move over ocean tiles immediately. This is absolutely insane. Other civilizations need optics just to be able to embark, and even then they can't embark onto ocean tiles, but the Polynesians can do it immediately. And their embark units get plus one line of sight, so they are amazing at exploring the ocean during the early game. This, of course, allows them to find ruins that they can snatch up before any of the other civs can even you know, enter the sea, so they get a very nice bonus to their early game. And hopefully, uh, I'll get some nice things from these ruins. You can get really unlucky, you can like maps and barbarians. Uh, hopefully we'll get some free text, maybe some pops, maybe some faith. Um, now, their unique units, or they have one unique unit and one unique improvements. Uh, the first unique unit they have is called the Maori Warrior. I think that's how you pronounce it. They're just warriors, and of course, a unique warrior is seldom a good thing. However, these guys get a unique promotion that they carry with them when they are upgraded, and that is uh, the same uh, promotion that elephant units start with, uh, which is just a fair promotion, as you can call it. They debuff adjacent units' combat strength by 10%, and when they become swordsmen, and in later on infantry, they do retain this promotion, so it is nice to try and build some of these, just to get this promotion to carry on with them. And it does make them pretty good frontline units uh, during wars. Uh, but yeah, not fantastic, but not terrible either. Their unique improvement is called the Muai, I think that's how you pronounce it, and it can be built on coasts, or coastal tiles, and by themselves they're nothing fantastic, they're not amazing, but they give one culture, and if they're next to another Muai, they also grant another culture. So for example, if you have three Maui, or Mu, Muai, Mau, I don't know how you fucking pronounce that. If you have three of them next to each other, they all provide tree culture, which is really fucking good. And once you research flight, they give a little bit of gold as well. And I do believe that the culture from, Mau, uh, from Muais also count towards the tourism bonus added by hotels and such in the late game, meaning the Polynesians are a pretty good contender for culture victory. Also, whenever a unit is within two tiles of a Moai, they get a 10% bonus to their combat strength, so they're a good defensive civilization, and if you have a really close neighbor, they can be pretty offensive as well. Kind of like mini great generals. They do not stack though, so you don't get like a 50% combat bonus if you're within five Mo Moais, but still, it's a nice little thing to have, and you want to of course, try to build them next to each other. So, without further ado, let us jump into the game. You can find the settings in the video description if you want to read more about it. There should be 8 civilizations total, 16 city-states. So already from the get-go, we have a fantastic start. We have a mountain, we have a river, we have fish, we have crab. Um, I'm tempted to settle here to get a canal city, but for going an observatory in a river is madness. There's no way we, we're going to do that with straight fades. So we are going to settle on spot. And we're going to start working on a scout. Now, of course, uh, we want to scout for neighbors. Uh, on our archipelago, it's not uncommon to start with a neighbor next to you. Um, usually one or two. If you're lucky, you're isolated. That's the best situation to be in. But it's pretty obvious that, uh, you know, we're, we're not all, all, always going to get that starch. So let's see if we can... Oh, and there's Ruin already. Starting off the game... Uh, oh! Well, that was quick. So we have Maria Theresa of uh, Portugal right next to us. This is a really close starch. 
This is... Yeah, I can already see her borders. Wow, that's crazy. She is super close. So, okay. That's uh, that's already pretty bad. Um, that And, of course, on DD, the computer starts with a settler. So, that probably means she's going to forward settle me. This seems to be... I can see the coast here. So, she seems to be, like, on the eastern part of our island. Now... The thing about Polynesia is you don't really want to spend a lot of time moving around on the land. You want to get out and explore the islands as soon as possible. So I'm pretty sure, like, it's Archipelago, so this these islands are going to be pretty small. Probably going to go up here and around here. So what I want to do is, as I said, I want to get out and I want to, and I want to find islands. And I want to find the ancient ruins on the islands. Uh, of course, I want to scout around a little bit to see what's going on here. There might be also be uh, some pathways leading up here north. But we can already see, as I said, here are the ruins and this the great thing about the Polynesian Empire on Archipelago. They get all the ruins. And that is what I intend to do. I'm playing on DD, so I'll need every single advantage I can get. I get Spearman. Spearman with the fair promotion, that's pretty good. And to be quite honest, I think I'm gonna go for a Maui warrior immediately. Um I'd like to build another scout, but I like to build a couple of Maui warriors because, you know. Pro uh, promotions are good and all, but also because I want to explore. Uh, on this setting, I think it's de definitely justified to go for a scout. And look, look, I I actually missed a ruin. I want to go back for a lot. I hope I'm gonna get that. I'm not sure if there's gonna be any other close neighbors. And it's really fucking amazing how the Polynesians can enter ocean tiles so early. It's actually borderline. Oh, come the fuck on. So I was about to say that, I was like, oh my god, that's borderline game breaking. I was like, oh my god. Oh, I really want to buy this. Okay, so so a, an early war with Portugal is pretty much inevitable. It's gonna happen. Um, yeah, that's not great. At least uh, Honolulu is in a very defensive uh, location, so that's good. And I get a map and another ruin. Let's go get the ruin. The plus one site with Embarked is also crazy. It allows them to explore in ways that other civilizations simply cannot. Uh, although I don't think... Oh, nice, we get pop. Although I'm not really sure how much the AI cares about line of sights. I have a ten I have a theory that it doesn't give a shit at all, that it sees everything. Um, but you never know. Anyway, it seems like oh, there's someone up here. So we actually have two neighbors, and we're in the middle. Never a great place to be. Um... And, uh, oh, we get Archer Scouts. That's lovely. This color, it's orange, I think. Could it be William? Uh, I know William's in this game because he has a unique uh, ship, so it could very well be William. So let's go find out. I like that we have Spearmen now. That makes them a little bit more robust when dealing with uh, Barbarians. Um, so we have Tree Pop in Honolulu already. That's really good. Um... We probably want to go for a shrine, and then we probably want to go for a library. If we could get God of the Sea, that would be absolutely insane. I don't think we're going to get it, because God of the Sea gets snatched immediately on DD difficulty. Especially on Archipelago. That's like one of the best uh, best ones to get. Another fucking map. Can we get some culture or some gold or something? That would be really nice. I think there's a ruin here. Let's see if we can find some more ruins. But yeah, just... Plow the plow the islands, get as many ruins as you can. This is how you play Polynesia. Uh, would be tempted to go for yet another warrior, but I'm not going to do that. Oh my god, is that, that is Solomon's Mines. Yep, King Solomon's Mines. I know where my si first city is going, that's for fucking sure. Yeah, six production. This is a ridiculously good natural wonder. Having six production, that's like having a manufactory from the start. That will crazy speed up the production in your city. Absolutely insane how good that is. Anyway, uh, let's see if there's some ruins on this island. I don't think so. Uh, but yeah, we got some barbarians. Maybe we should wait for them to leave, or we could fight them. If we fight them, we're going to spend some time we don't want to spend. Yeah, we're definitely going to go for a shrine. Try to get an early pantheon is very important. Uh, Portugal is probably going to attack us really early on, truth be told. Um, oh, nice, they just left. Good. All right, we get barbarian encampments. Fucking lovely. Let's see. Ah, I knew there. There's always a possibility for ruins to be a thing. But yeah, uh, I really hope Porto doesn't steal the stone away from me. That would be really sad. Also, I think we're done exploring this island now. There we go. Oh, we get sailing. That's that's amazing. 
That is absolutely amazing. That's a tech we really want, so I'm happy about that. Yeah, and of course, it's William. I knew that. Um, William's going to be in this game. I know all the civilizations that are going to be in this game. As I said, every single civilization with a naval unit is in this game. So that's going to be fun to see. But yeah, let's finish the shrine. Then we have to go for a library. We cannot neglect silence. Silence. I said silence. We cannot neglect science on DD. It is way too dangerous. Um, Wittenberg. We gotta have. We gotta steal a worker. That's something that I should definitely look into doing. I'm probably gonna do it with my archer scouts. I think workers spawn on turn 30, so we should uh, try to get close to a city state and see if we can steal one. No worker here just yet. Let's go over here. There's another ruin. Let's see if there's any ruins over here. If you plan your movements well, you can actually embark and disembark pretty de pretty easily without actually getting slowed down. You just gotta make sure you use, utilize all of your unspent movement points before uh, disembarking. There we go. Like so. And he wants to sell embassy. Of course, the AI starts with writing. On DD level difficulty, so they they have writing from the starch, which is a little bit tricky. All right, no s no workers here just yet. Got to be careful about it embarking on archers. Okay, great. So we get we get our tradition opener. That's really good. So now we have writing and we have sailing. That's really good. Um, I think perhaps mm, would be nice to reveal iron on the map. Would be nice to get walls because <laughs> we're gonna get attacked. I can I can I can guarantee you that some archers would be nice. Uh, some animal husband animal husbandry would also be really nice because uh, we have cattle here. We'll need we need some. Uh, I guess I can grab an embassy with her. She already knows where I am. Might improve our relationship a little bit if anything. But yeah, I'm foreseeing a very early war with Maria Teresa. Another ruin, lovely. Um, there's the city-states. Another ruin, but it's guarded by barbarians, though. Let's hope they move away. So, yeah, we're, we're gonna open up tradition. We're, of course, gonna go exploration when the time is right. Um, exploration is gonna be crazy good. On It's the, really the only policy to go for on Archipelago. Because you get that crazy production boost in all of your cities. Okay, nice. We get some gold. Let's see. Do we have any ruins over here? Here's Sakaraman. Could try and steal a worker from them. That would be nice. We're not going to be able to do shit against those hand axes. Uh, I'm going to try to see if I can steal the ruin. But unless they move away, that's not going to happen. Doesn't seem like they want to move. Oh, nice. Another ruin. Nah, they're not going to move. Alright, so let's grab the library. 18 turns. I am. I really want to go for the settler. But we, we need to go for the library first, and then we can go for the settler, and we can grab King Solomon's mines. That is actually going to be really cool. Anyway, let's grab this ruin. Animal husbandry! <laughs> amazing, amazing. Because that's two free techs right now. That's pretty fucking good. Alright, we can't do shit to those hand axes just yet. But yeah, this is a good expansion right here. I think we'll need to expand on the cotton, though. Because we, want, we need to be in range of the mines. And... Uh, yeah, let's just keep moving around, searching for... Oh, there's a worker. Okay, we can steal that. Lovely. We need to expand on the cotton, I think, because we need to be in range for the mines. Unless there's, like, fish here. Uh, but there's fish here. So if we expand on the cotton, one, two, three, we also get the fish. We get a lake. We get horses. We get wheat. This is too good of an expansion to pass pass up, in my opinion. So uh, we, we definitely need to expand here. But yeah, we're going to go steal a worker. Portugal has probably already pledged to protect uh, the city-states. I hope they haven't, but if but I don't really care if they have, to be quite honest. Um, because I'm going to fight with them anyway, so it's not really going to make a difference. I mean, oh my god, that's a lot of fish. Alright, let's move. It's very, very important you press move mode, or else the archers are going to fire with their, yeah, under the protection of Portugal. It sucks, but, uh, I mean, what can you do? I need that worker. There is uh, no way I am not getting that worker. Here is Sidon. Hello, hello, Sidon. Okay, so yeah. Our apologies. We'll just say sorry. Um, but not really. Because <laughs> I don't really give a shit. Alright, we have archery, so we can make some archers. We probably want to go for... Construction would be nice. 
calendar is definitely something we need eventually, but I think going for detecting iron is actually a big deal. No, I don't want to delete the unit. Oh my god, look at- oh my god, look at this island right here. I'm pretty sure this uh, worker can make it on its own back to our capital. This is a nice little island. Look at this shit right here. This could be a potential expansion. All right, let's grab Oliarchy. The reason why I'm not hard building a monument in Honolulu is because I will get it for free in 23 turns when I select my legalism policy. Because uh, if you build a monument, you don't get anything out of legalism. I plan to settle four cities. You can't really settle more on DD. So if you wait by hard building the monument, you can actually just get it for free, which saves you some turns. But it does slow down your culture gain in the, uh, in the early game, which can be a little bit sad. Alright. Um... 12 turns, still we get the library. Of course, that is a must. The world's busiest people. One thing that's really annoying is that Korea is in this game, since they have a unique unit. And Korea and Didi, well, they're no joke. Let's just put it that way. I don't like Korea. They always end up fucking running away with attack. I should know. I, I just played them. <laughs> Alright, this looks like one hell of a city to me. I mean, look at this shit. We'll get cotton, we'll get fish, four fish, oh my god, that is absolutely insane. Alright, so have any beliefs, uh, wow, seriously? Nobody has p uh, picked God of the Sea yet? Could we seriously get God of the Goddess of the Sea? That would be absolutely ridiculous if we could get Goddess of the Sea. Theodora, of course, she has the drone on. Um, I think that's, uh, isn't that, isn't that a trireme that can shoot at range? Drome on, drome on. Uh, yeah, it is a trireme with a ranged attack, which is ridiculously strong. Oh, looky here, a ruin. Oh crap, hand axes. Why are there always hand axes? Fucking annoying. That's what it is. Fuck, I moved through the forest. I shouldn't have moved through the forest. Yeah, I really hope my, I really hope my my worker gets gets to my city before uh, Maria attacks. If not, it's gonna get taken over. Uh, come on. Move, move, move. Let's see if we can find some more ancient ruins. Don't think there's any on this island. Okay, cool. The hand axe has actually moved away. We can get the ruin then. Lovely. How many ruins that now? More than in my career game, I think. Yeah, get away. 75 gold. Alright, so what we can actually do now... I think I'm going to buy the workboat and work the crab tile. Because I have sailing, I got that from Ruin, and I need the happiness if I'm going to expand. And I actually kind of want to kill these archers, so I'm going to do that. Get some experience, and uh, yeah, just remove them. Because if I embark now, they're going to shoot on me. And if they shoot on me while I'm embarked, I'm in trouble. I don't want that. Alright, uh... Great, let's see if there's more ruins around on this island. The hand axes are running away. That's what I like to see. Let's grab a pasture. And let's go work the crab. And boom, there you go. That's a promotion from my for my warriors. And here is the one only, the Dido. It wouldn't really be a Magnus Let's Play without Dido, would it? So, good thing she has a unique boat. <laughs> Alright, so now we... Ah, Declaration of Friendship with William. I am definitely taking that. So now we have the crab. Gives us happiness, gives us food. Crab is kind of like the, sol the salt in the ocean. Uh, like, if you don't know, salt is considered the best luxury resource because it gives food and gold. Uh, and crab also gives food and gold, which is ridiculously powerful. I'm going to grab drill, I think. So we're going to heal up. Actually, no, you know what? We're not going to heal up. We need to grab the ruins. Oh, what is this? <gasps> oh, is that Mount Sinai? Ooh, really? Hmm. Mount freaking Sinai. All right, we need to get away from these guys. Oh, crap, archers. Jesus Christ. I need to get my guys away before they die. Oh, ruin. Ha, another freaking ruin. Wow, look at this expansion right here. Yeah, this is eight faith. It's desert, though, but imagine a Petra on this city. Holy freaking shit. That would be absolutely ludicrous. Alright, we need to get the fuck away. 
At least we need to heal. Another ruin? Alright, so, Honolulu. Huh, <laughs> yeah, great library. That's gonna happen. Alright, so how long until Honolulu grows? 20 turns, which means we can easily build a settler. We just need to put on production focus. 16 turns. Let's go check out this uh, island. This looks to be, yeah, this is Theodora's place. She seems isolated. Lucky son of a bitch. Or daughter of a bitch, I guess I should say. Alright, let's take a look-see. She may not have found all the ruins. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, look at that sick expansion right here. Floodplains, river, Mount Sinai, pearls, fish, cotton. Oh my god, she's gonna grab that so hard. Alright, 30 culture. Amazing. That means I'm gonna get my legalism up and running. And I'm actually gonna get something out of it for once. I don't like the fact that Honolulu is completely undefended. I should probably get a unit of some sort there. Um... If I knew what I was doing, I probably would have. This is also a decent expansion, actually. There's a lot of hills here, so the desert actually doesn't play that big of a role. I should grab some sort of... Yeah, Theodore has completed the Great Library. I should grab some sort of... Um, escort for the Spearman. I really hope I don't run into a, a Trireme. I might very well run into a Trireme. But yeah, I need some sort of escort for this... Need to go ready the island for the arrival of the settler. Alright, so we got bronze working. That's great. Maybe we should just rush construction. Do we have iron? Uh, let's see. There's no iron on this. Ah, oh, there's plenty of iron here, though. Oh, Jesus, look at this. Yeah, this island is so going to be expanded upon. Alright, more ruins? Anyone? Not even sure if the AI can embark yet. It can probably embark, but not onto ocean tiles. There's still plenty of islands that are off-limits for them. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's get back here. If I meet a Trireme, I'm dead. But if I just stay in the ocean, the Triremes can't kill me, so that's something. Alright, let's just explore. Let's grab Legalism. That's a free monument. Save me, saved me some turns right there. 11 turns until we get the Settler. Then I think it's probably about time we build a unit or something. Because I am not trusting Maria Teresa. The deity AI is always so goddamn aggressive because it has so many freaking units compared to you. And yeah, cargo ships should definitely get a few of those up as well. An early game cargo ship trading with the Netherlands would be pretty sick actually. Oh my god, because there's a... <laughs> We get God of the Sea? Are you fucking kidding me? God of the Sea has not been snatched? Wow. Are you fucking kidding me right now? That is the best pantheon to get an archipelago. Just fucking look at this. One, two, three, four, five hammers in our capital. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. God of the Sea, here we fucking come. And we get one hammer from the crab. That is ludicrous how, how powerful that is. Like, I cannot emphasize how strong that is. Another freaking ruin. How many is that now? A lot of freaking ruins, I tell you that. If we get some faith, that would be awesome. I want to keep my religion, if possible. Oh, crap! Don't, don't want to go close to that thing. Alright, uh, masonry in four turns, which means we can probably start the quarry. That would be really good. So I'm actually going to move my worker there in preparation. Population! That is so good. That is so freaking good, guys. Six pop Honolulu right now. So we're off to a good start, except for the fact that we got two really, really close neighbors. It's actually going really well. Alright, I need to get onto the land somehow. But I can't go close to that trireme. I don't think the trireme can attack me in the ocean. I'm like 99% sure it can't. If it can though, I'm gonna get I'm gonna be really upset. I don't think it can now. I have to get on I have to get onto land somehow and I gotta start healing up. Okay, good. I'm actually gonna wait here and then I'm gonna embark next turn. A lot of barbarians here. Alright, we can't build us the quarry just yet. We have to wait a little bit. But yeah, I'm... I'm... Ah. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, this was that was fast. Holy fucking oh, shit, that was fast. Um, ah, come on, freaking archers! Jesus Christ! Ah, I can't do shit with these guys right now. All right, so that sucks. Um, don't really have any units back home to defend with. Don't think she can take my shit though. I'm pretty freaking sure she can't take Honolulu with warriors and archers. Oh, we get to hear the um, get to hear the Portuguese battle music. Okay, this fucking sucks. This archer is ah. Get to hear the Portuguese battle music, which is really fucking cool. Yeah, I I I am pretty sure she can't take Honolulu with archers and warriors. They're just not gonna cut it. I wish I had one unit back home, though. God fucking damn it, archers! Get away! Alright, well. This is why the computer is stupid. And it, dis it disembarks a lot in situations where it shouldn't. Oh, hello. England, of course, with their freaking ships off the freaking line. One of the strongest ships in the game. There's frigates with an absurd amount of combat strength to them. Oh, looks like we found some Englishmen. And we can go back and continue our quarry. Yeah, Maria Theresa is not going to be able to take Honolulu with this skeleton force. Sure, I can work together with you. She's going to fire a lot of arrows at it, and she's going to prevent my settler from doing shit, which is annoying as fuck. But at the end of the day, it's not really going to matter much. I wish I had the money for just a single unit of some sort. I'm going to have to fire this guy down now. Yeah, let's build a Marwe warrior, shall we? We need something just to bolster the strength of Honolulu. Oh, she is shooting at me. But if I can kill enough of her units, then that shouldn't be a big deal. Alright, there's nothing more here. Let's see if we can find some more islands. We just had a single archer here. And this wouldn't have been so bad. I've killed a lot of your shit right now. Yeah, okay, she wants peace. That was that was pretty easy. Could have milked her a little bit more, but uh, I need to get my settler out, so there's really no points. Now, I'm pretty sure I have to wait on my warriors before I move the settler out, because there's going to be triremes in the water. I don't really want to have to deal with that. So, uh, oh crap. Okay, good. I'm in the ocean. As long as you stay to the ocean, you can't get killed by triremes, which is another massive advantage that Polynesia has. You're not gonna have any. You're not gonna have any boats. Oh, fuck. You're not gonna have any boats that can cross the ocean at this point. The AI may be advanced, but it's not that advanced. I'm not gonna build like frigates now. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait with these uh, settlers because I don't want them to get captured. Yeah, building some Maui warriors is definitely not a problem. You can research metal war you can still build them. It's when you research metal casting that you obsolete the warriors. So try to build some before that happens, and you should be fine. Oh, look, we met up. Can have a party out here. Alright, here's the Maui warrior. It is done. You can go down there. It looks like we're kind of like hitting the ice right now, so let's... Uh, Try to go elsewhere. Alright, so, I think getting a cargo ship up. First, let's get some work boats up. Two, preferably. Because we have a freaking god, a goddess of the sea. And after that, we should definitely work on some cargo ships. Because uh, tra at least one with the Netherlands will really fix our economy. And give us an early game science boost as well. Alright, my bad. Had a little bit of a crash. But uh, luckily, managed to load the autosave. So, um... We are going to be continuing where we left off. Let's uh, start moving. Also, this spearman should be healthy enough now. Oh! Oh, would you look at that! A worker. Just for me. Now, i got to be careful where I embark. Because uh, those archers can shoot at me. But if I could take those workers, then... Haha. <laughs> then I'll have some workers for my... Uh, well, it's a settler now, but it's going to turn into a worker when I capture it. I wonder what silly AI sent a settler over there. That must be pretty stupid. Um, but yeah, I means I have a worker for my new island. Probably England, by the looks of things. Huh. Alright, so I just get to kill those archers, and 
That is actually pretty freaking cool. Alright, lovely. So, yeah, I'll kill them in two turns. The Hakka. Oh, nice. I killed it immediately. So, yeah, we got our got ourselves a freaking worker. You gotta be really careful now, because if there's archers nearby, they can shoot on me. And we definitely don't want that. So, uh, let's be very careful where we... I don't want to move in just yet. Alright, let's see if we can find some uh, more islands. God, the Solomon's mines are going to be insane. Uh, and of course, we're going to settle on top of the cotton, so we're going to get that straight away. Looks like there's quite a few archers here. Huh. Uh, wow, okay, that's scary. Uh, I can't really do anything right here. These archers are being total bitches. But the spearmen are going to come in and save the day. So at least I got that going for me. Here we see some coastline. Would you be interested? Yeah, sure. We can. We are interested in a trade agreement with England. Portugal is expanding like crazy, but that's fine. There's nothing we can really do about that anyway. But we can expand to islands instead, because we are a real island civilization. All right. Ah. Uh, oh, look at that. Yeah. We're gonna wait. We're not going to disembark just yet, because we need to see that the terrain is actually safe. Let's grab another pasture. This Poland, it was, Portugal is going to attack us again. Without a shadow of a doubt, they're going to attack us again. Um, there's really no disputing that at all. All right, my spearman was bombarded by an enemy archer. Let's see what's over here, shall we? Maybe we'll find some wounds. All right. So another workboat, and we should be good to go. Alright, so if we do this, and we have, oh, we have to move our settlers back because they take so much damage from the archers. Oh, these barbarians are a royal pain in the ass. It's kind of how they're supposed to be, but still, I didn't know they'd be this, this annoying. Of course, Enrico Dondolo, Venice has their unique ship, the Great Gallias. Probably one of the worst ones. Actually, no. The Great Gallias is actually pretty good, because the Gallias is good. Um, but, uh, let's see. The unique triremes and shit are, are way worse. <laughs> Alright. Let's check for ruins, and uh, lo and behold, a ruin popped up. Alright. I see no archers. This means we can safely embark our settlers. And we can start working on the wheat right away. Yeah, sure, Venice. Where are your capital? Here is Venice. Here is Constantinople. Carthage is over here. Alright. My spearmen are getting attacked. 50 gold. I'm not going to say no to that. Luckily, we have drill 2 right now. And I think if we just uh, fortify up, we should be absolutely... We can also, we can also pr provide a little bit of bait right here. We can... Uh, actually, we can probably just move up the Maui Warriors, right? So, now, the Hakka War Dance, to my knowledge, yeah, it does not stack. It would be kind of overpowered if it did. So, if you had, like, five warriors, they get, like, minus 50% combat strength. Would be kind of cool, though. But kind of kind of overpowered, so people would just stack them like crazy. So yeah, I'm going to settle right here, because that means I get the Solomon's Mines. As soon as my borders expand onto the mine, I'm going to work it. I'm not going to do it right away, though, because there's little point in working the mines from the get-go. Reason being, um, they're not going to give you any food, so your city is not going to grow. You need to grow your city a little bit first before you can do anything with them. Uh, I think I'm going to go for a granary, though. Because I have the wheat, which will give additional food when worked. Uh, and then probably a library. As soon as we get the mines, the city is just going to spiral out of control. Alright, we kind of explored most of this continent. Let's just get out of here and explore something better. Start working on the farm. Uh, these Maui warriors can uh, actually deal with these barbarians. Alright, let's see. Where do we want to explore? Probably over here, I think. Alright, our second workboat is coming out. We definitely want a lighthouse, but I think we want a trade ship first, because that trade route with William is looking very juicy. That is uh, Honolulu, Amsterdam. Yeah, 7.3 gold per turn. That is pretty sick. 
We definitely want that. Alright. Uh, see if there's any islands over here. Most likely. Most freaking likely. Let's train up our uh, warriors, like so. And we are actually, uh, yeah, we are done with construction. So let's go for philosophy then, I suppose. Yeah. Calendar philosophy. Sounds like a solid choice. However, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is a good time to end the parch. Please consider leaving a like and a comment. It really does help out the channel a lot. Uh, let me know what you think about this game. Uh, let's see if Korea just fucks up everything for us. That would be, that would be hilarious. Uh, so yeah, uh, my name is Finn Manx, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!